Video number two. As I stated previously, my wife and I had a loan of £50,000. When my grandson took over the business, it was decided at the suggestion of Mr Andy Singh, who was our business manager, to save expense that my wife and I closed down our business account and the direct debit for the £50,000 be taken from my grandson's account and that my wife became a signatory on that account just to make sure that the loan was paid. Everything went splendidly as I've said until uh, mid-2014 when I was diagnosed with lung cancer which caused a mental breakdown. Now unfortunately one night um, when I went particularly high wire, my wife had to leave the house. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't aware of this but anyway because I was asleep. The next morning when I awoke uh, I realised my wife had gone and uh, she went for her own safety and she was taken by my daughter to, um, to Derby. This was a bit disturbing to my grandson because my wife was still a signature on the account. So we decided to, my grandson decided that he wanted my wife off the account. So the Monday morning, this happened, my wife left on the Saturday night and the Monday morning we went up to Lloyd's Bank in West Bromwich and saw the bank manager, Mr David Bate Haley. Um, and the staff. We discussed with them, we were at half past nine in the morning, first time the bank opened, we discussed with them the, um, that we wanted Mr Keeling taken off the account. Um, they said that this could not be done, we had to do it on by phone with the bank. We went, discussed it on by phone with the bank, and um, they said no, it had to be done in bank. So off we troops again up to West Bromwich, the grandson and I. And after a very heated discussion with Mr. Bate Hurley and um, the staff, it was decided yes, Mrs. Keeling could be taken off the account. But unfortunately, um, during the intervening period, when we first went, our first visit at half past nine, and our second visit after we found up the bank, um, the account was drained of all money. Um, so effectively, the situation was on our second visit to the bank that the account, my grandson's account of Keeling Building Services was empty. It had been drained of all the cash. And this, I'm afraid, led to a very uh, heated discussion with them um, with the bank staff, it led to a major family split, but the outcome was that the money was replaced in the account eventually. My grandson was awarded £500 compensation. Um, my wife was not. Uh, followed up with the money, she got away with that. Um, but it left a very, very sour taste in my grandson's mouth, who blamed his nan, my wife, and I for the situation. So that is how the situation stood, and my grandson turned round and says, I no longer wish to have anything at all to do with this business. Um, I want to get a normal job and get rid of all this worry. So an appointment was made with Mr. David Bate Hurley to close Grant's accounts down and finish his business. So I think that brings video number two to a close. Thank you.